Right, happy Sunday everyone. Sun's out. Oops. Sun's out. Camera sounds broken. Uh, headlight on. Headlight not on. Headlight mounted. Headlight on. Um, which I'm quite happy with. Um, it didn't seem really bright to be honest. But saying that, it is super bright daylight. So I'll have a proper look later. Um, yeah, so the white on there um, I think just makes all the difference, makes it look a lot better. Um, it is mounted lower than I had thought. Um, I've taken it off and bounced, there's enough clearance there, it matches with the top there, it doesn't catch. Uh, so I'm happy, it just, I would have preferred it if it was up a bit. I might have another play another time, but um, but yeah, uh, I'm happy with that, looks cool. Uh, if a bit low, but hey, um, looks better than not having one at all. Um, I can't have quit the brakes any longer, I've got to do them. So, just taking the back one off. It's all still sealed, it's a bit loose and everything. Got the brake pads out. Not actually too bad, but not MOTable because it's gone through the line. So, um, uh, I am going to uh, order some new ones uh, and get an hoit in while I've got it off. It's not actually looking too horrendous um, or certainly not the traveling pieces anyway um, the outs are looking a bit ropey um, but I'm going to give those a dose over uh, in a couple of seconds and see how they are I don't really want to have to pump them all the way out and then re-bleed etc etc but I'll see how I can get on without taking them out first cool catch you in a bit right change your heart change your mind I've decided to pop them um, and they're actually oh where are we and they're actually pretty good at the top end. Um, and the chambers themselves are looking quite quite clean as well. Um, I'm glad I did pop them. Um, oh, I'm extra glad I popped them because I've just found that ball bearing. How freaking lucky is that? Now that is divine intervention. Um, don't believe in God, but he believes in me and all that sort of stuff. But... Um, that's amazing, I've been looking for that everywhere. <laughs> Sorted, I can put that ped back on because at the moment it is, um, you can see it, plastic cuffed up because it's flapping around like a loon. <laughs> that's, that's made my day, that has made my day. What I was going to have to do was take that one off, take the ball bearing out, measure it and buy one. Um, not that it costs anything, but it's a ball's egg. So one well happy with that. Uh, right, put that in there, don't forget that you fool right so why have I done it I don't like doing things by halves and I was about to do something by half so I thought sod it and it was of all people for those that criticize um, uh, some of the approaches that Charlie the motorcycle rescuer does um, it was one of his spills where he said exactly the same about um, getting complacent and sometimes taking shortcuts and having to stop and think it think it through so they're thinking I'm gonna sell this um, some young, probably lad, um, well, some probably young lad anyway, is going to be bouncing around on this, and I don't want it on my conscience that I haven't done a proper job on the brakes. So, popped it off, had a look, confirmed they're okay, seals look okay. Look at the state of this though. That's brake fluid, it's like water. So yeah, I'm more than happy I've done that, because that would concern me if I was... Um, trust in my life that, that feels really grainy as well and that's just like a, just like a bit shite on my hands uh, right fine brill uh, got the brake pads I need I've got some dot four for it um, I'm gonna give them a proper clean up uh, it's been in one of my previous ones about you know not using abrasives on uh, brake pistons you shouldn't unless you have to and frankly the braking surface on this is fine um, or the braking the piston surface it's just the edge bit so uh, I'm gonna start off light and use a bit of scotch bright uh, maybe even a wire brush uh, a push wire brush a copper wire brush copper brass wire brush so it's nice and soft um, but actually even just rubbing that with the brake <laughs> with the brake water that's on it see that little bit there it's coming off quite nicely so I've got no problems that they're going to clean off but I want to do it properly um, I'm not going to film it because it's just flashed up, my phone's about to die. I'm going to do it exactly on the front, exactly the same on the front as well. Whip off 
um, the whole thing, uh, let it hang, um, get the brake pads out so I know which ones I need to order, so they're over here, um, and flush the brake fluid because if that's like that at the back and that's relatively covered and exposed it's not going to be any better at the front. Um, so yeah, I am going to go and do that now. Uh, I don't think I'm going to film it because my phone is about to die. And I'm freaking well happy that that's phone up. Can't believe that. Look at that proof that I'm doing the right thing. Cheers all. Do you know what? After getting all pious, I'm not going to change the brakes. Look at that. They're brand new. And the front brakes, brand new. No problem. Let's give them a bit of a spray and a rub down, but the pistons look okay as well. Right, yeah, just gonna give that one a clean, chuck it back on, happy with that. Makes my life a bit cheaper because it's only one set of uh, brake pads to get. Cool, happy with that. Cheers. On. Yeah, so although it's fine at the top end, <coughs> excuse me, that front crack does just let all the fluid come pissing out. You just see a drop forming there, so I can't think of a way of repairing the front of that. Don't know, no idea. Um, I might just go for a front reservoir, a freshen. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is drain that. That's what's just trying to top up the fluid. Um, and it's, that's cracked and coming straight through. So, no, there's no point trying to block that or do anything different. You see, I'll just get a new one, it's safer. Right, cool. I'm going to siphon that out so it doesn't drip and ruin the paintwork. Just while I say siphon stuff out, that's the bits there. Um, one of the most useful things I've got in the garage is I've got some big syringes. Um, got them because, where do we get them? My wife got them. Why does she get them? Oh, because she's a massive drug. No. No, she got them for an experiment for school or something. Or it might be in a fancy dress, actually. Um, but there's a few of them kicking around. They are so handy. Um, so rather than pissing around with long pipes and trying to drain stuff and sucking through them, trying to siphon them out, just jam it in. I'm not going to get any now because I've just um, suck it up. And it's clear. Right, so that's going to not drop on there. So tonight's shopping. Um, what do I need? I need Master Brake Reservoir. Don't need the handle, that's all fine. The handle, the lever, that's all fine. So it's just the reservoir if I can get one. And a couple of brake pads from the back. And off camera, oh, there, 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 try that again. I will dose over better um, the pistons and just get them nice and clean. Um, might even pop them back in. I uh, don't know, see how I go. Suddenly gonna do some family stuff. Right, so I'm gonna pack this away. Obviously I'm not going to test out the headlight and give it a ride around when I've only got one brake. Um, uh, so that's going to have to wait for a little while. But um, yeah, I think the old boys come together quite nicely. Um, yeah, I'll have to see how it goes. Cheers all. Catch you later.